Today is September 2nd, which means I'm turning a year older. This week on the Hebrew calendar, I am honored to be sharing my birthday celebrations with a very important bunch, animals. You see, this coming Wednesday is the first of Elul, a day recorded in the Mishnah as Rosh Hashanah la Behemoth, the new year for animals. Many linguists believe that language is the paramount characteristic that separates human beings from our animal counterparts. Some Jewish scholars have proposed that the ability to use language is what it means for humans to have been made in the image of the divine. According to Rabbi Ishmael, the Torah itself was written in human language. However, although humans and animals differ in some ways, Rosh Hashanah la Behemot calls upon us to reflect upon our relationship with animals with whom we share this earth. This year, we're thinking of an interesting linguistic phenomenon. Did you know that multilingual wordplay is common in the pet naming traditions of American Jewish families? For example, you might have a cat named Matzah, which not only nods to the unleavened bread that Jews eat on Passover, but also sounds like Machka, the Serbian word for cat. You might have a wiener dog named Niki, short, of course, for Naknikia, Hebrew for hot dog, or maybe an angelfish named Malachi, pronounced in Hebrew as Malachi, my angel. We've also heard of a cockatoo named Bore the Gafin, after the Jewish blessing Bore Pericha Gafin. These are just some examples of how animals have become intertwined with Jewish culture and day-to-day -day life. Rosh Hashanah Le Behemot also highlights the Jewish mitzvah of Ta'ar Ba'ale Chaim, which prohibits Jews from causing unnecessary harm to animals. So, from the Jewish Language Project to you and your furry friends, Happy New Year. Does your pet have a name that's awfully Jewish or based off of Jewish wordplay? Write it down in the comments below and tell us the story.